Today on Cars and Cameras, we're going to make people angry. Behold, the Honda 212. This is the last bit of the square tubing that we have here at the shop, the one by. And then the rest is going to be some janky nuts and washers to make up for it. We managed to fit six and a half horsepower where 120 used to be. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> Doing a burnout. <laughs> Hey guys, today we got something special going on. Uh, we are making something, well, we're taking something street legal and turning it into uh, basically a, uh, what do you think, John? Uh, Off-road, on-road vehicle? On-road, brother. Predator 212 goes on the road. There we go. Predator yeah. 212 on this 2003 Honda 919- 212. We're gonna see if uh, if we can actually make it road legal. And I, I'd like to see if we can get the best fuel mileage out of this thing. You know, everything get like my my Harley gets 50 miles to the gallon. I want to make this thing better fuel mileage wise than the Harley. Usually we're multiplying horsepower. This time we're dividing horsepower. We've got a we've got a tank. We have a seat. We have the rear fairing right there. Yeah, the seat will be yeah, fine. It'll be fine. And uh, we have a goodie box. Charles, what do we got in the goodie box? Well, basically everything that we took off, first of all, I mean, we got headlight, of course we got the cluster. Yeah, we're and gonna need to. Hopefully we have some hardware for the rear swing arm and stuff like that. that that's what I'm hoping, man. Yeah. Well, we have a uh, mock-up engine over there. Uh, we can at least get it uh, mocked up and you know, going together. I'd like to ride this thing today. Most definitely. 100%. 100%, yep. You definitely have to put the uh, the heat shields back on. Oh, definitely. Anything with flames is awesome. Because this thing's going to be so hot when we're done with it. <laughs> right. Today on Cars and Cameras, we're going to make people angry. Behold, the Honda 212. So our power plant is this Predator 212. Costs about 150 bucks these days. Uh, well, it was crazy. They used to be like 99 bucks with a coupon. What are you gonna do? Anyway, we had it in here backwards for thumbnail purposes, obviously, you know, on the YouTube grind. So we're gonna spin it around the correct way right now. All right, so it looks like our engine can go up a few inches to say the least. Oh, absolutely. We just started our summer 2021 giveaway. We are giving a brand new Rascal mini bike kit from GoPowerSports.com. And to help kick things off, I'm going to be marking down our new logo tee 10% for the next 48 hours only. So you get automatically entered to win this brand new Rascal mini bike kit uh, just by placing an order on our website, cars-cameras.com. Good luck. The giveaway ends August 19th. And uh, thanks for the support. So, I think we've got it figured out pretty good. We are going to trim off these ears on both sides, which will allow us to bring the engine a little bit forward. And we're going to cut some, uh, I don't know what size pipe that is, but it's a, a lot like this pipe right here. And we are going to go underneath the engine plate, and we're going to pie cut it at the front since it's got such a sharp uh, angle up. And this is about what we're going to have right here. And uh, either one or two pipes coming up. I hadn't quite made my mind up yet. But that should secure the plate pretty, uh, pretty good. And uh, then we'll be moving on to a jack shaft. So what I'm thinking is a pipe there, and we're gonna pie cut somewhere around here and turn this pipe up and weld it up to this bar. And then we'll be able to uh, put our uh, jack shaft coming off of here. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We'll, we'll find out. It's a kind of, you know, 
Do what yeah. you got to do. It'll be right fine. Yeah. It, it'll, it'll be fine. Be fine. That's right. Just in the nick of time, buddy. What's up? Removing the engine. Trying to. Because we have to trim these ears. So we got everything mocked up. Now we're going to be welding it up and uh, fingers crossed everything's going to be square and level. So uh, what are you thinking Charles? Yeah, I definitely want it uh, suspending on its own weight to where we can knock these blocks out before lunch. Yeah, lunch just is just right around the corner. Right around the corner and we want this thing hanging. So I think we're getting something pretty special here, buddy. Yeah, it's, it's, really, it's really coming together. It's not too bad. Fortunately, there's a lot of sharp lines on this bike anyways. So it makes the uh, engine cradle not look so bad in my eyes. Yeah. I really wanted it nice and swoopy, but we just didn't have enough room with this engine. The only way we could have done it is if we came forward like cut these pieces off and come way forward and then come down and swoop back at this point right here but it would have been real close to the front wheel and i don't think it would have looked right that just sounds like the same thing with extra steps yeah and we, and we want it we wanted it hanging on under its own weight so yeah so this this is going to work great i say it's going to work great we still have to work on the jack shaft which is next so i'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors gopowersports.com we can't do this build without them. We are using a clutch with a 420 sprocket. Uh, this is going to allow us to go to a jack shaft, which is going to go to the rear end. Torque converter wouldn't work for this application because there just wasn't enough room, which is pretty crazy since there was a 919cc engine in there and we just replaced it with 212cc. The uh, Jack shaft is going to be running on a live axle bearing kit from Go Power Sports. This is going to allow us to put the jack shaft wherever we want to and weld it in solid. And it's going to work great for this application. It also comes with these lock collars. And again, you can catch all these parts at GoPowerSports.com. Let them know Cars and Cameras sent you and all the links to these parts are in links in the description so check that out sorry guys this is the first time for me let's get back to the build so uh for a little bit extra clearance for the jack shaft we are going to lift the engine a little bit not something i wanted to do but you know it, it'll get the job done so we've got we this is the last bit of the square tubing that we have here at the shop the one by and then the rest is going to be some janky nuts and washers to make up for it. But it's for temporary. It's for testing purposes. Yep. So uh, we'll get it right the second time? Third sure, time? sure, yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. There you go. Got it? Yeah. Who drilled these holes? Let me tell you, it's a good thing it's only six and a half horsepower, boys. Yep. Yes. Temporary, man. Temporary. For testing purposes only. Okay, guys. So we have our sprocket here. We have our jack shaft welded in. Now, the brackets are just tacked in, and they will get welded better once we find out that this setup's going to work. Charles here is about to run the chain from the rear sprocket to this sprocket. And we're gonna check out. Make sure we don't have any chain bind. Make sure we don't have any problems with chain. You know what, it won't be the first lawnmower powered motorcycle I've ever ridden either. <laughs> Cause there's the Honda Davidson. 
The one with the 670 Predator on it. If you don't know what we're talking about, yeah, watch the video. Watch the video. Check out the channel. As I thought, it's uh, going to be rubbing on the top of the swing arm right there. Mm. See how it's picking up yeah. on the chain? Yeah, it is, isn't it? So we might have to go with a bigger... Might bigger have to gear. go for a bigger sprocket. Which, we got one uh, down, down there. And it's just a little bit bigger. Two more teeth. But I, I, you know, we can change we can change that gear out at any time. Yep, just nuts and bolts. So, we'll, we'll give this a shot. And uh, man, we're getting closer. Absolutely. What do you think the governed 3600 RPM top speed is going to be on this thing? Yes. Well, the speedometer is not going to work since it's electric. <laughs> <laughs> we got the speed app. Oh yeah, we got a speed app. We I have technology. You, yeah. With this gear ratio. I bet you we'll be able to hit 40 easy. Okay. That's cool. This is going to be a cruiser, man. And yeah. we do have front and rear brakes, so this will... Should be able to stop. Yeah, so, uh, welding it up. Yeah, man. Cover. Yep. Alright. Well. Watch your fingers. Perfect. Nuts, the lock nut should be right there. So you're telling me all we have to do is put oil in it and hook up that last gear and chain and we're good to go? And maybe a kill switch, yes. Yeah. Oh, and cool. a throttle. Oh yeah, throttle. Well, that's the easy peasy stuff. Yeah, that's nothing. Just reach down and hit that governor. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny to be putting a mini bike throttle cable on a motorcycle. On a Honda? On a Honda. 919, 212. Two, one, two. All right. So I wonder if we can convince uh, the insurance company that this is not a 919 motorcycle. <laughs> oh, and so we don't have to pay. I was wondering extra about insurance. that. Yeah, insurance yeah. would be a lot cheaper if it was a 212 cc rather than yeah. Yeah. whatever it is. Ooh, that nut's got to get loosened as well. Yes. So oftentimes, which is a really good thing to point out, when you buy one of these Predator 212s, I think Teletons are like pre-set up, assuming you're gonna use a go-kart or a mini bike, but the throttles are like really tight and sticky. This one's not even moving at all. Wow. Oh, there it is, there it is. So, you know, it's intended to be using, I don't know, you set it at a certain throttle and it sticks there. You definitely don't want that for your go-kart. So no. you wanna tight, loosen. loosen. Loosen that nut right there. You just want, what I like to do is I like to uh, go full throttle with it and I loosen the nut until the throttle starts moving back. We're having a 10 millimeter kind of a day and they're all gone except for this stubby, so that's all I got. All, all right. right. So you want it to be somewhere about like that. Yep. Make sure your throttle cable's not in the way. Yep. And this thing's getting there. So the throttle cable is tight. We're looking at adding engine oil, tightening down some bolts, adding a seat fuel tank. And that's pretty much it. We're going for a ride. Guys, I gotta say, we have outdone ourselves this time. Pretty awesome. We managed to fit six and a half horsepower where 120 used to be. Well, I'm gonna back this thing out to crank it up. Put it up against the wall, man. She might run away from you. Yep, you'll be all right. For startup. Yep. Right. First, pull. First pull right out the box. Hey, it's a Honda, man. What can I say? It don't sound right. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, the gearing seems okay. Huh? The gearing seems all right. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, bud. Yes. Yes. I mean, it didn't seem like it had too much of a high rev to try and keep going. No, dude, I mean, it, it seems like all right. A, it sounds like a normal go-kart. 
What do you mean it sounds like a motorcycle? Oh, that's right, yeah. Man, why does it look peppy? It looks kind of peppy. I think the gearing's just right. Alright, I'm gonna give her beans. Beans! Hot exhaust, huh? Hot exhaust. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Doing a burnout. <laughs> oh, yes. I'd say that's about 53% success. Yes. I'd say 6.5% success. Oh, okay. I mean, look at the burnout. Look at the burnout. <laughs> That's about six and a half horsepower burnout. No rear brakes. Now we got our front brakes. Awesome. Which will make it a little put up for a Grand Prix lap. But I'm going to check the top. I'm going to check the top speed. Okay. You got to go down. Yeah. How fast does it go, man? I'm gonna say 35. Check it, Charles. 29.3. Yes. So that's not bad. Boys, let's put a headlight back on it and take it to bike night. Alright. Nice. I'm down, I'll ride it. I'm All right. gonna play with the gearing a little bit. Though. Yeah. We gotta we gotta figure something out though. Yeah. We'll see you in the shop. All right, thanks for tuning into this episode of Cars and Cameras, everybody. We built the Honda 212, and I gotta say, it's awesome. I think the only thing we need to do is work on the gearing a little bit and get a better top speed so we can actually drive this thing around town. I agree. So we need to get the title switched over. Get some insurance. Get some insurance on it. Take it to bike night. Get a tire for it. Yes, indeed. Take it to bike night. I think it'll be a hit.